Hello everyone. Welcome to Online Engineering by SJ. Today we will discuss about the Kani's method. So this is the beam. Here UDL, one UDL and two point loads are acting. UDL is on the span of 6 meter having I and 5 kilo newton point load on the span of 5 meter at the interval of 3 meter and 2 meter and 8 kilo newton point load at the middle of 5 meter span so firstly we will find out the fixed end moments so fixed end moments for span AB M AB moment at A due to B is equal to minus WL square by 12 because it is UDL so minus WL square by 12 it is equal to 2 into 6 square divided by 12 2 into 2 into 6 square divided by 12 so it is 6 kilo newton minus 6 kilo newton meter and MBA it is plus WL square by 12 so it is plus 2 into 2 6 square by 12 plus 6 kilo newton meter for a span BC MBC minus WAB square by L square because this is the point load and acting at different intervals of 5 meter means distance from B to this load is different from C to this load so minus WAB square by L square we will put the value 5 into 3 into 2 square divided by 5 square so it is coming to be as minus 2.4 kilo newton meter and for and now MCB moment at C due to B is equal to W A square B by L square 5 into 3 square by 2 divided by 5 square 3.6 kilo newton meter for span CD MCD the load acting on it is point load and it is at same interval so its moment is minus WL by 8 so it's it is coming to be as minus 5 kilo newton and MDC is equal to 5 kilo newton meter now now next step is to calculate the rotational factors so we will consider joint B and joint C M member B for member BA BC and for joint C CB and CD these all are fixed joints means the beam is fixed at both the ends so relative stiffness it is equal to K and its formula is I upon L so it is I upon 6 as the beam span AB is of 6 meter so that's why it is I by L I by 6 and BC it's a given it is given that it is 2I so we will calculate it is given that it is 2I so 2I by L 2I by 5 for and we will now add both these to get the total relative stiffness I by 6 plus 2I by 5 so it is coming to be a 17 by 30I and for distribution factors it is the ratio of relative stiffness and the total relative stiffness k by sigma k so when we divide i by 6 by 17 by 30 we will get as 5 by 17 and here 12 by 17 and now the rotational factor which is very important it is equal to the minus 0 0.5 multiplied by df so we calculate these values minus 5 by 34 and minus 6 by 17 now for C joint CB member and CD member so it is I it's given to I so 2 I by 5 and here I by 5 we will add these both the values so it is coming to be as 3 by 5 I now DF distribution factor is equal to RS divided by 3 by 5 means RS divided by TRS means total relative stiffness so it is 2 by 3 and it is 1 by 3 so now uh, relative now rotational factor it is equal to minus 0 0.5 of df so it is coming to as minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 6 now for resultant moments resultant moment at b m dash b we know that uh, span b C and here A. This will be 
बी ए एंड दिस विल बी बी सी सो वी एड बोथ दिस सो वी विल गेट द टोटल मूवमेंट एट दिस पॉइंट बी पॉइंट सो एम बी ए प्लस एम बी सी इट इज कमिंग टू एस थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स किलो न्यूटन मीटर एंड एट सी पॉइंट एट सी पॉइंट वी विल एड एम बी सी सॉरी एम सी बी एंड एम सी डी सो एम सी बी एंड एम सी डी इट इज कमिंग टू एस माइनस वन पॉइंट फोर किलो न्यूटन मीटर now with the help of carnes iteration cycle we will calculate all the rotational contributions so joint b it's uh, at fixed end moment fixed end moments at point b it is coming to be as 3.6 as we have seen later and the rotational contribution at far end is equal to 0 and rotational contribution at far end c this is zero because we consider it as free hand so it's coming to be as 3.6 kN meter and m dash ba it is the multiplicative of minus rotational contribution and the total movement so 3.6 multiplied by minus 5 by 34 it is coming to as minus 0.53 and minus 1.27 m dash bc now consider joint c fixed end movement at point c minus 1.4 and rc at far end we find out at rc as here far end is m dash bc so rc minus 1.27 plus 0 at d it is equal to 0 so minus 2.6 total movement so we will calculate m dash cb minus 1 by 3 means rf multiplied by movement so we will get m dash cb and m dash cd as 0.89 and 0.45 respectively now we will draw the carnes iteration cycle now this is very important so here we have drawn this figure to show the rotational contributions at b and c and uh, we have listed here all the fixed and moments minus 6 means mab mba plus 6 mbc minus 2.4 mcb plus 3.6 and mcd and mdc now we will this is the total movement means sum of this and this 6 minus 2.4 it is 3.6 and here 3.6 minus 5 minus 1.4 these are the rotational factors we have find it find out earlier minus 5 by 34 and minus 6 by 17 and all this so how to calculate this mba this is minus 0.53 so we need to take the calc here and now 3.6 multiplied by rotational factor Sorry, it is three point six multiplied by five divided by minus thirty four. So it is coming to be as minus point five three. And now for three point six multiplied by six divided by minus seventeen. So it is coming to be as minus one point two seven. Here it is given, listed here. And now. now for c mcb we need to take the moments rc of far end b and rc of rc of far end b this and fixed end moment at point c so we need to add both these so minus 1.27 and minus 1.4 Minus two point six seven and multiplied by R C, so into one divided by minus three divided by minus three. So it is point eight nine, and similarly, we will get this as point four five. Now for this M B A, we need to calculate. We need to add. the phase and moment of this means b point and rc of far end far end is this 0.89 
सो पॉइंट एट नाइन प्लस थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस थर्टी फोर सो वी गेट दिस एज पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सो सिमिलरली वी विल कैलकुलेट और दीज रोटेशनल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन्स एंड वे आर दीज आर रिपीटेड एंड वे आर दीज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन्स बिकम सेम सो वी विल कैलकुलेट मेक श्योर दैट इट इज फिक्सड मीन्स इट इज फाइनल सो नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द फाइनल मूवमेंट्स सो इट इज द फॉर्मूला मीन्स एडिंग एफ ई एम प्लस टू इन टू आर सी मीन्स आई हैव रिटर्न आर सी रोटेशनल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू टाइम्स यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक इट एज टू इन टू आर सी सो वी हैव पुट ऑल वैल्यूज माइनस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स दीज आर ऑल फिक्स एंड मूवमेंट्स एंड दीज आर आर सीज हेयर आर सीज आर गिवन सो एट ए एंड एट डी आर सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज वी कंसिडर इट एज फ्री एंड सो वी हैव लिस्टेड ऑल आर सीज एंड आर सी ऑफ फार एंड वी नीड टू ट्रांसफर दिस वैल्यू सो इट विल बिकम ऑफ फार एंड नाउ वी एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज सो टोटल इज कमिंग टू बी एज दीज सो दीज आर द फाइनल मूवमेंट्स फाइनल मूवमेंट्स एक्टिंग ऑन द बीम नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द फ्री एंड मूवमेंट्स एंड वी विल ड्रॉ द डायग्राम फॉर दिस हेयर इट इज For free end movements for span AB, it is UDL. So that's why WL square by eight. It is coming to be as nine kilonewton meter. This is point load. WAB by L because uh, different distances five into three into two by five six kilonewton meter. For span CD WL by four, so it is coming to as ten kilonewton meter. So now we will. Draw the diagram. This is this blue line indicates the final movements, and these black lines indicates the free end movements. Nine, six, and it is ten. It is so. This is this is UDL. So that's why parabolic, and uh, this is point load. So this is in triangular. When free end movements. is greater than final movements there comes the sign of positive here you can see free end movement 9 is greater than the final movement means 6.68 curve and 4.64 so it is positive 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 and here it is where it is down free end movement is lesser than final end movement then it is negative so thank you please subscribe like and share the video Thank you everyone and best of luck